Yeah! All right, Cell, I don't know why the hell you're even back, but hey, I'm gonna show you what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan God. <laughs> Here goes! Ah, oh, yes, yeah, Super Saiyan God, you say. I am loving the color of your hair, Goku. Mind if I steal it? <laughs> what? Fuck no, get your own. Get the hell out of here. Take this. Oh, yes, my power is rising, overflowing. <laughs> Ooh. Did Swally hear power rising, overflowing? Oh, I like that line. I think I'll steal that one, motherfucker. <laughs> Ugh, what is this disgusting mess of muscles? Get out of my sight. Oh, that made Swally's heart hurt. Ugh, pay the ultimate price, asshole. <laughs> Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays back in some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, the redesigned mod pack, my friends, my dudes. I am so excited to be returning to this pack because there was some big updates in the past couple of months by the homie Crystal. She has worked her ass off, but you guys get the picture. Uh, she has been hard at work redesigning every single character in this game. Uh, slowly but surely, she's able to get updates out here. And the last time we covered this, it was just kind of a very small, limited group of characters that were actually updated. Now she's going in order with all the sagas. So I guess the last time I covered this, you saw primarily just the Saiyan saga with a couple of other characters from, you know, Dragon Ball Super thrown in there like Goku Black and such. This time around, we're going to be returning with the past two updates with the Frieza saga and the Cell saga, my personal favorite saga in the entire Dragon Ball series and franchise. So I'm very excited to get into it. Before we get started, my friends, do me a massive gargantuan favor and smash that like button. That would be so freaking amazing. And I would truly, really appreciate it. Plus shows that you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 content here on the channel, as well as continuation of the mod, the cities. So be sure to check out Crystal, AKA Little Wolf. Uh, she has just been such an amazing individual uh, working hard on this, as well as everyone else that contributed through assets. Make sure that you guys are uninstalling the revamp pack whenever you do install this one because it's not compatible. So let's jump into it and let's walk through all the new characters. All right, my friends. So we are in the character select. I'm going to go through every single one of the characters and I'm going to try to, uh, I guess, point out which ones are new. Now, there might be uh, a couple here and there that maybe I just forgot about that were already in the initial pack that I did cover. But like I said, we're just going to cover all of them and uh, I'll give you my initial reaction on it. So... Uh, first off, we have Future Trunks again. I believe that Trunks did get a blue hair update. I don't recall this. I think the hair was actually purple uh, last time around. But I still absolutely love, 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 love this design. This is still probably my favorite one out of all of them. And there's a Ginyu Force. Yes, the Ginyu Force. Every single Ginyu Force member got an update as well. So there is Future Trunks. Uh, GT Trunks also got that similar kind of hair design update because they use the same uh you know models for like the head and stuff so that's just there for now uh, i think crystal will work on gt probably later on goku still has his respective uh red and i guess it's like a black color which i do like it kind of reminds me of uh the original like goku from dragon ball so that's pretty cool having that like you know darker darker orange or reddish kind of color with the black looks amazing uh it's just a very nice design so uh, this one is still solid, and uh, I really like it. <laughs> I think this is probably my favorite, the Whis uh, symbol gi. That one's dope. So, uh, Super Saiyan God Goku again uh, with the red design looking clean. Now, Kid Trunks and everything, uh, this is part of the Boo Saga. So, uh, you know, Crystal has not got to that yet. So, we'll have to wait for that next update, and I'll be sure to cover it whenever it does release. But we have uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku again, still looking solid as hell. GT Goku, uh, nothing changes on him. Uh, Super Saiyan 4, again, nothing changed. We still have the Kid Gohan looking, you know, pretty much amazing. Uh, I believe this is a new update. I can't remember if uh, the Kid Gohan from the Frieza Saga actually had this uh, armor, but it still looks solid. Uh, I love this one. <laughs> I love that one so much. So, Teen Gohan actually did get an update because this is his respective 
uh, you know, version of him from the Cell Saga. Uh, one thing that is kind of different and cool I like is that he's got no wristbands. But he's got that kind of Piccolo-esque uh, style with the Goku style going on there too. Looks amazing. Uh, you also have the battle damage version whenever it can transform the Super Saiyan 2. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Gohan, again, no change on this one because that is the Boo Saga. Same thing with the Great Saiyan Man. But future Gohan is looking badass. I will say this is probably one of the coolest designs so far already. Ah, oh, I love that. So again, that... You know, nice uh, red and black color, but it's battle damage. Oh, it's so badass, bro. Uh, Goten again, Boo Saga, no change there. Piccolo still looking solid. I love, 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 love the demon sort of like symbol and stuff that he's got on his pants. That one is badass as hell. Moving on here to Krillin again. Krillin is awesome. <laughs> uh, here is the Frieza Saga version. I love his hair, bro. That's like Kaba's hair with a little bit of like Goku Super Saiyan hairstyle in the front. It's just really, really cool, and, you know, Krillin deserves some hair, so. Tien, looking clean, uh, all his designs, I love his casual design, that one's clean as well. Uh, we have the, ooh, man, that red, white, blue, and black Yamcha, that's what I'm talking about, bro, that's what I'm talking about. So, we also have the Android Saga version right here, uh, you know, the usual stuff, and that. Uh, Cybermen, I don't remember the Cybermen having changes, uh, I could be wrong, I, it's just been so long, and I think since Cybermen is, you know, pretty... Meh, nobody really cares about Cybermen too often. Uh, I do really like the design though. Kind of like a crown going on, like a King Cybermen uh, sort of design. Uh, Raditz, again, still really solid. Uh, I believe Nappa was probably, yeah, Na <laughs> Nappa Chocolate Nappa. Yes, I love it. <laughs> that one is still amazing. Vegeta, oh, his design was insane, but we'll walk through all of them uh, once more just because, God, they're so cool with the battle damage, all the new updates with the suit and stuff. Uh, there are little changes here and there. The training suit is by far just amazing and everything. And, uh, yeah, at least battle armor looking clean. Majin Vegeta, uh, that one is w the only one, I think, from the Majin Buu saga that was still, uh, you know, already revamped or redesigned. I don't want to say revamped because people get upset whenever I do that because it's like, ah, but it's not the revamp. Okay, redesign. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Super Saiyan 4, again, no change. New, okay, so here, we're getting into the new stuff, the Frieza saga. So here is Zarbon. All right, Zarbon's got this nice gold-plated uh, sort of armor on the edges and stuff. But I love, love, love the design for it. Also has the uh, visor kind of uh, scouter kind of thing going on there, which is pretty awesome. The Doria as well, similar design with the gold on there. Beautiful stuff. Nail, uh, he's looking like a badass. Dude, I thought this man had like grenades or something. I thought this dude was like weaponized up the butt. But I love his, uh, you know, headband that he's got going on there. Shout out to Nail. That dude's a legend. And the symbols on his, uh, like, I guess armor or whatever is pretty sick too. Here's Guldo. Uh, very minor changes on it, but it's really cool. I love the fact that these guys are all like color coded here. So we have a green Guldo. Shout out to Rhyme Style. We got my boy Orange Raccoon coming through. Let's go. Yeah, you got to have the one where he's got blasted, no teeth. Let's get it. Uh, we got Birder here looking clean with the blue blur. My man looking like Sonic. No, not really, but yeah, he got that blue going on there. Jace with the the red. Yes. Oh, yes. I don't. I can't do Australian accent. Uh, Captain Ginyu again. We just showed uh, with his color coding, uh, and then you have all the awesome designs there. This uh, fun fact: the trunks actually still has the normal hair on that one, which I wasn't. I didn't expect, but that's pretty cool as well. Uh, just if you wanted like a normal hair version, uh, we have Kui. I think his armor is. I think they have a little bit of different stuff going on there, too. Uh, as you can see, they all have the visor kind of thing going on, like a little, like, headband thing. I don't even know what that is, but uh, we got Turles. Uh, I love his design still. Still solid. Same thing with Lord Slug. Same stuff going on there. Raspberry's weird. This guy threw me off. Look at it. Look, he has hair. I mean, I know he he's supposed to, I mean, it would make sense he's supposed to have hair, but... Yeah, he's supposed to look like this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, this guy got hair now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Freeze's design, still awesome. Love, 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 love it. The devil horn kind of thing, like the curved horns. I'm a big fan of that. All the final forms and stuff. I believe that was in the last pack as well. Uh, this one is badass, dude. Oh, my God. With the, like, you know, mouth guard thing. Oh, still love it. Still solid. Cooler, looking beautiful as always. Uh, I think that was still in the last pack as well with Metal Cooler and everything. So, pretty good. 
Now here we go. We're getting into the new stuff with the Android slash Cell Saga. We have Android 16. Uh, what a fitting design for this man, may I say. Crystal has a great vision for what she's trying to accomplish with these characters in terms of design. And I love the vest and the under uh, shirt and everything. It's a simple change. It's nothing too drastic. And I absolutely love that. So... Android 17, his is a little bit more drastic, but, you know, he got the leather jacket, the black boots, almost, uh, almost a little bit edgy there, and he's got the sunglasses. My man, he kind of reminds me of, like, the 50s, 60s greasers kind of style. I don't know, man. Is that what the 50s, 60s were? You know, you guys probably read that book, uh, the, was it the greaser, greasers, greasers? Uh, I, oh, what was the name of that book? I we read it in, like, no school, but, uh, Super 17, no change to GT. Okay, Android 18. This one is the one that I'm just like blown away by. Dude, she's adorable with her hoodie. She's got that tomboyish kind of look and uh, the painted fingernails in black. That dude, this is awesome. This is like a little bit, little bit gothish, you know, emo-ish. I like that. Uh, the beanie as well. Uh, got that real modern kind of look, or I guess you could say like early 2000s kind of design there. Uh, just very reminiscent of that. I love hoodies. This one right here, bruh. Come on. Come on. She is like, dude, she like a punk ass. That's what I'm talking about. Dude. Like, you ever have half your jeans on the leg, on your right leg, just completely ripped off? I guess that style. And it looks like she has Android 21's boots, but not uh, alternative collars or whatever. So, I like that design a lot. And then, bruh. Bruh! <laughs> Oh my god, that, that's my favorite one, dude. Oh, oh, oh yes, all right? Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about, fam. That's what I'm talking about. Android 18, solid, solid design. Now we go on, okay, this one, what? Okay, I don't remember the arm and the leg looking like that. Now this shit, it goes hard. Yo, yo. All right, so Imperfects, or just Cell in general, seems to have a PS5 Super Saiyan Blue inspiration going on there. But I love the, the like, I don't need, uh, can I consider it like battle damage? It looks like a little bit of like a battle damage on Cell, but he looks to be kind of destroyed here. And he's trying to heal, I guess, or like recover through the biomechanics of his leg and his arm, which just looks really cool. He looks very robotic, which I do like, even though he is organic. So you have like these wires coming down from his arm and stuff. It's, it's a really cool look and... That's probably, um, I don't know how you come up with this. Crystal's creative, man. I swear. Look at that. And then we have Super Saiyan Blue Cell. So, yeah, this is really, really close to that PS5 design. Uh, you know, obviously, I think that's where the inspiration came from on that one. But I love it. Uh, you have the full power version, which is almost like a little bit of gold. So, it's like a golden cell kind of version. So, I like that a lot as well. The Super Saiyan Blue Hair, just, oh, it's so dope, dude. Uh, we have Super Villain Cell. Same stuff there. The Cell Juniors are actually rosé, which is so cute. I love that. They're they're pink and rosé, which is awesome. I would I was not expecting that when I first saw it that Crystal put up on there, but great stuff. Uh, Hercule still got his punching gloves and stuff going on there. Uh, Videl, again, Boo Saga. So these are all the Boo Saga characters that uh, have not been revamped yet. Hopefully we get to see a, a Broly revamp uh, pretty soon here. Go tanks, no change. Uh, Vegito still has his update, I believe. I don't think Vegito had the update at the time. I can't remember, but um, Crystal updates me a lot on uh, Discord as well. So there might be one that I uh, forget to point out, but I love the earrings on this still. Uh, it's just beautiful. Same thing with Gogeta. Okay, Gogeta, man. Oh, I love this design. It's so different. It's like a Xeno kind of design there. Love it, love it, love it. Same thing with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I think the only Super Saiyan 4 character, or sorry, GT character, that actually got the redesign. Beautiful, beautiful stuff there. Love the boots and the loincloth thing. That is awesome. So, uh, these guys, no changes, no changes. Keep it going, keep it going. Hit again, uh, still has his normal change. Solid design. Bardock got an update. Bardock did get an update. One thing I want to point out. Love this hair, bro. Look at that. It's Bardock's base form hair with, like, Super Saiyan 4 hair. It's badass, bro. Like, look at all these variations, man. Come on. Come on. You can't sit there and tell me you don't like that. Mass Saiyan also got that because uh, who is the Mass Saiyan, dude? I don't even know. Oh, my God. Okay. Toa and Mira got their updates, too. Toa has a Dabura-inspired design because they are siblings, you know? And I think that's so cool that she got a pink redesign 
and uh, unfortunately no swimsuit. I cry every night. <laughs> but still, oh, love it, love it, love it. Mira's got his nice uh, Time Breaker armor. Uh, looking beautiful. Shout out to Samir. What a badass. Uh, super villain mode as well. Hopefully we get to see a future Trunks uh, you know, update pretty soon or in the near future. Goku Black, again, Kai-inspired Gi. Beautiful stuff there. Frost, nothing. Kaba, nothing. These guys, uh, hopefully in a future update. Rosie Goku Black, again, same stuff going on there. Same thing with Zamasu. Little bit of a change on Zamasu. And Fuse Zamasu's was still really badass. Love the double purple arm thing going on there. Vegito Blue, again, same design, uh, updated as well. Uh, these guys, no updates, no updates. Ooh, we got to get a new trucker hat for Andrew 13, in my opinion. What do y'all think? Uh, I would love to see, I don't know if Crystal's willing to do this, but Crystal, if you're watching this, if you are going to redesign Tapion, could you throw in a little bit of a uh, Link inspiration going on there? I think that'd be so freaking cool if you gave him like blonde hair you know uh more i guess human based kind of skin and just made him look like link i would love that uh but android 17 super 17 did get his redesigned as well because he's still you know android 17 looking very very um i guess a uh, patroller-esque in a way you know because he's the mir kind of style going on there so you know ranger 17 that's really really ranger-esque in my opinion but uh, Jiren, no change. Ultra and Goku again, just with the red and everything. Uh, Few, no change. Kefla still has that crazy, looking like Star Wars character. I love that design. Baby, no change. Uh, Vegito Blue, still no change yet until probably uh, later on. Same thing with uh, my boy Swoli here. Ribrian, nothing. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue, Evolution Vegeta, got a nice change. Uh, this one as well changed, uh, you know, obviously from the last pack. Oob is the same, and the last one, but not least, probably my favorite out of all of the designs for this pack, Android 21! She is so cute, bro! Holy shizballs! This is, this, this is what got me, like, just fired up, bro. When I saw this, Crystal tweeted, she, she knew, she knew what she was doing. She goes, she probably sitting there like, alright, Slow's gonna dig this, bro. She has, like, a half white, half, uh, brown hair. It's such a cute design. Women with like a little bit of white hair, I think is sexy as hell, bro. I'm I'm sorry if that's weird or not, but a little bit of that like like you know white hair kind of color going on there. That's sexy as hell. Like if they dye it or whatever, I don't know what it is about the white hair. It looks cool. I think it's just something. I'm I'm into like that emo kind of edginess kind of style, and that shit right there is fire, bro. Look at that. And she got, like, the scarf and everything. She is amazing. And I love the shoes. Everything about it. She's got a very, very, very different design. And it just... God damn it works. Like, a lot of these work well. But this... I don't know what else to say. Let's go and try out a couple of cutscenes here and there. And, uh... Let's have fun with it. Alright, my friends. So, y'all thought I was gonna leave you hanging without a battle? Of course, we gotta do a battle. So, I'm gonna get my ass beat by Cell in his Super Saiyan Blue. Like, that's not fair. I have Team Gohan, bro. What was it? Was it? Maximum I can do Super Saiyan 2, and that's it? Look I'll at that. Your opponent. I'll be your you opponent. Oh, wait. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot At about that. It still had the revamp, the uh, like, <laughs> animations and stuff on there. But, yeah, like I said, uh, this is unfair. My man Cell, he already... Bro, he already got Super Saiyan Blue, and I'm sitting here big chilling and dying i do like no damage to him all right we need to go super saiyan 2 right now oh my god why do you have that full power charge bro is he using kamehame oh i i don't know how i avoided that your boy was slick i was sliding into those dms fam oh get him all right come on we're gonna go and destroy this man oh ho, ho, break that mm, the big hits the big hits yo hashtag big hits down below my man gohan coming through here oh shit did i did <laughs> i can't believe cell is fucking dead <laughs> You kind of look like Moro, fam. Oh. Oh. Oh, but you thought. You thought. Oh, crap. Why do you have special beam cannon, dude? <laughs> this man literally is Moro. Boom. Masinko Ha. All right. I'm going to try to finish this off with a father, son, Kamehameha. If I can't do it, I apologize. It's not my fault. I just suck at this game. I swear to God. <laughs> okay. Come on. Break his stamina. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. This is not what I wanted to do. Help me. Holy shit. Oh, All right. It's always so difficult to land that last final hit that I'm trying to get here. All right. Come on. Come on. All right. Hold that down. Hold that down. Fam. Don't even do it. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I just want to father son you. Okay. That sounds a little bit... <laughs> 
<laughs> that sounds wrong. All right, come on. He's almost dead. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Oh, uh, that's not fair, dude. All right, come on. Break it. Break that stamina. I don't, I'm not dying. I am not dying here and now. All right, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing to you, bro. 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 All right, very nice. Come on. Don't break it. Don't break my stamina. Ah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Not the best way of doing it, but I pulled it off and I'm happy. If y'all bitch about it in the comments section, I don't care, dude. <laughs> eh, he, he couldn't do it. Oh, that was fun, though. That was so sick. Dude, look at Gohan, man. He looks so weird without his uh, wristbands. I'm not used to that, but there you have it. The nice final battle of the legend Gohan. Fighting Super Saiyan Blue. So here is... One of the cool Frieza Saga redesign cutscenes here. Looking awesome. That is absolutely badass. Look at that, dude. Goku with his redesign, too. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Moving on into age 767 with this redesign here. Look at that. Piccolo. And then you have the androids. Oh, this is... Oh, look at that, man. That You can't sit there and tell me that's not cool. Just seeing all those homies. You know, with their redesign. Oh, I love these cutscenes, man. Oh! <laughs> Great stuff there. Look at that. Look at that, dude. That is so cool looking. <laughs> I love it. All right, one last one for the road just to see the imperfect cell design because it's so cool. Look at that, dude. Dang. Absorb that, man. you got to be kidding me. Solar Flare! <laughs> Man, I can't, I cannot wait to replay this, dude. The story mode was actually really fun, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, crap. Ooh! That, that PS5 tentacle. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I have reached my perfect form, bitch. That is so cool. Beautiful stuff there. So there you have it, my friends. Uh, just a couple of the little things that I got going on there. I will be doing a full playthrough once the entire redesign is open. I'm going to do a complete playthrough from the start to the end with all the redesigned cutscenes. I cannot wait to get into it whenever that's actually released. But for now, my friends, thank you all so much for watching. Please go support Crystal down below as well as everyone else that helped contribute to this. I know this video was a little bit longer than usual, but I had a blast showcasing all the little characters and stuff. So, thank you all. Leave a like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!